So let's get right into it. I want to deal with the topic, avoid troublemakers. Avoid troublemakers. Now I want to just say something about this because it's really important that we know what to do when people come and cause trouble in your life. You know, God has not called us to walk around and have issues wherever we go. How many of you would like peace in your life? How many of you would like to just have joy in your life? I want to tell you right now, God actually instructs us. And we can stay away from those that are troublemakers. Now, before I even get to the scripture, why would God do that? Let me tell you why. It takes up a lot of your time. Troublemakers take up a tremendous amount of your time. And they use up your energy where you should be doing something that God has called you to do. When God has called you or mandated you or asked you to do something, you're using up the time to sit down and deal with the troublemakers, those that just cause issues. And God actually instructs the body of Christ to say, listen, beware of them, avoid them, and get them out of your life. Alright, 1 John chapter 5 verse 16, it says this, uh, sorry, Romans chapter 16 verse 17. It says this, now I urge you, Brethren, note those who cause divisions and offenses, contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. Avoid them. Avoid them. Now I know that many people enjoy getting into these debates that go absolutely nowhere. People just like arguing for the sake of arguing. Now there are many people who write to me or send me WhatsApps and tell Tell me all sorts of things that I've done this wrong and I've done that wrong and I've done the thing. But often their heart is one just to cause a fight. And all it does is it causes division in the body of Christ. That's why Paul is very strong on this. Be like-minded. Let's think the same. Let's interpret the scripture similarly. So you need to go and find people who believe like you believe. People who stand together with what you believe. Because God is looking for men and women who are not going to be influenced and affected by people who are coming to become troublemakers because they cause division and they create offenses. Now if you know somebody, wherever they go, they just offend people. By the time they leave, the people are offended. They have this knack to come and cause offenses wherever they go. I want to tell you right now, the Bible is very clear. Avoid them. Stay away from them. Do not get involved in them. Don't waste your time with them. And so I want to say to you, saints, we are going to have to take some action. Now don't fall for this and say that they, we have to love them into holiness. No, God's word is clear. If somebody causes division... And constantly causes offenses. Keep them away from you. For two reasons. Number one. You're going to be very busy. Picking up the pieces. Every time they've come around. But number two. The Bible also says. That those that are not of God. They corrupt good morals. In other words. If they keep on keep on with something. Eventually you find yourself arguing. And you cause offense. So I want to say this to you saints. Let us make a choice today. We are not going to get involved in these aimless debates. We are not going to allow offenses around us. And we are not going to allow division. Now why is this so important? Let me tell you why. Because we're in an area, an era, where the body of Christ is under such attack. We cannot afford still to be causing divisions and offenses within our own ranks. Right now, saints, we are fighting for our nation. We are fighting for what God wants to do in this nation. And we need to stand together and we need to pray and we need to push in. We need to believe God for the supernatural to take place. But we cannot do that if we are constantly fighting each other. And so, saints, I want you to decide and have a look at all your friends, all of your acquaintances, all of your family. If there are 
individuals that cause division and offenses, start cutting them out, getting away from them. I want to tell you, I've had to do this many times in my life. Some of my closest friends, I'm not friends with anymore because they kept on causing division. And I don't care who you are. I don't care how spiritual you are. Some of these that I'm talking about are, are men and women of God who know the Lord, have called on God in their lives. But I said, I cannot hang around if you're going to cause division in the body of Christ. And so I want you please to take this seriously. We need to start getting into the word and we need to start obeying what God says. And so when you get to these situations, and I don't mean once off, I don't mean somebody who is frustrated or they just had a fight with somebody. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people every time you're in their midst, you walk out there going, yes, this is just talking about somebody else, running somebody else down, causing division, causing offenses. That's the kind of person that you avoid. Amen. So right now, as we come around the table, let us thank God for what He has done for us. But let's ask God to help us to produce the unity and the agreement that is needed in the body of Christ. Amen? On the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it and He said, This is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and He said, This is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for your physical and emotional healing. And the blood of Christ was shed for your salvation, protection and provision in Jesus name. And so right now as we take of these elements, let us celebrate the price that was paid for us. But God is calling for the body of Christ to be in unity. To stand together and not to cause any division. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so much. And Lord, right now, I thank you that you will forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, motive, intention. Lord, I ask you please to forgive us where we have caused offenses, where we have caused division in the body of Christ. I ask you please to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. But Lord, right now, thank you for the price that was paid for us. Lord, I pray right now that as we take of the elements, Lord, that you will minister to each one of us. And Lord, I pray that you will give us the strength to earmark and mark those that cause division and cause offenses in Jesus' name. God, I pray you'll give us the wisdom not to get into any vain arguments. But Lord, that we will purposefully choose to move forward. And do what you've called us to do. In Jesus mighty name. And everybody said. Amen and amen. Let's partake together. Let's pray. <clears throat> Lord right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord I release your healing power to flow over our physical bodies. From the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. Lord we declare ourselves healed. We command every sign, every symptom of sickness to leave our bodies. Father, I thank you that we walk in divine health and supernatural healing. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I'm so excited to be with you this morning. I trust that you're ready for an awesome, awesome day. I just want to just say, uh, I was in uh, had a quick in and out into... Um, into Johannesburg on Sunday. Um, it was really quite interesting. And we had to be back Sunday night late to make sure that we're back for, uh, for communion. And that's why we didn't have a church service. Um, because I was actually marrying, um, one of our elders, uh, sons, Joshua, uh, Joshua Burton got married. And, uh, I just want to just say it was a wonderful wedding. I want to just, uh, uh, just, Say that we really bless them and we trust that they're going to have a wonderful time and life together. But I tell you what, it was a quick in and out. So it's been a very, very busy time for us. But I want to say, I am so excited when I get together with saints. All right. I want to just say it's amazing when we get together with the body of Christ and know that Jesus Christ is alive. Amen. 
So please, I want to remind you that our camp is coming up. It's not a long way to go. All right, so if you can get to us in Wellington, um, in, the, in the Cape, please come and join the camp. It's going to be an amazing time. Remember this, the fire conference that we are doing now, the fire conference camp, we are going to be focusing on being saturated in the Holy Spirit, being full of the Holy Spirit, so that wherever we go, we will carry the power, the might, the flow of what God has for us as saints. All right, so we're going to knock it up a level, and it's going to be absolutely amazing to see what God is going to do for us in Jesus' name. I'm trusting God for a supernatural move of His Spirit. And I'm trusting God that God is going to do something amazing for each one of us. So, I want you please to know that when we go to these camps, these camps are not just a fun time. They are impartations. Things happen when we get a power of God saturating our lives. Our lives change. Things happen. And I'm telling you what, it's really exciting to see. So I want to say, saints, as we come around each morning, we believe God. I want you to know, this is very important. We are busy building. We are building on our faith. We are getting ourselves stronger for what God has for us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so it's Tuesday. Remember that it's School of Prayer today. And so tonight, Amanda is going to be back and we're going to be uh, ministering on the School of Prayer. And the notes will go out today. And remember this, I am very excited to announce that it is time for the body of Christ to come into unity. Okay, it is time for us to believe what God has said. And I am believing God for a supernatural move, all right, in our businesses. I am trusting God for a supernatural move in our businesses. That the world can go one way, but God is going to show himself true to business people who believe God and trust God. And it's time that we start seeing it. All right? It's time that we start seeing the power of God and the supernatural working of his spirit in our businesses. That the world will know that Jesus Christ is alive. So I'm going to pray right now. Okay? And just before I pray, people are asking, what's Josh's wife's name? Her name is Cheyenne. Okay, so I just want to bless them as a couple. So right now, let's pray. And we are going to believe God for a supernatural move in whichever company you are in. And we're going to trust God for a supernatural breakthrough in our financial blessing over this nation in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, we come before you. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to move in amongst our businesses in Jesus' name. Lord, the time has come where we are going to believe you and trust you like never before. Lord, that we are going to get serious about this. God, we call on you and say, God, show yourself strong in our area of our finance. Lord, in our provision in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that as we stand strong and solid, Lord, that we will build our altars. But God, I pray that we will see the hand of God supernaturally move in our businesses. Lord, we release a blessing of God, supernatural deals, divine connections to flow in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that we will be a testimony of what you can do in a nation. And Lord, we pray over each and every business today in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for your blessing. Thank you, Lord, that our economy will prosper in Jesus' mighty name. Because the saints are standing in the gap. And the saints are calling on you in the name of Jesus. Lord, right now, I thank you that every form of COVID disappear and totally dissipate out of our nation in Jesus' name. And Lord, wherever there's a slight thing of crafts going up, I come against that in the name of Jesus. I command every form of COVID to die and to go. Father, I thank you that this nation is free of COVID in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now for your blessing over each and every one. As we go forward, Lord, I pray for our leaders. 
God, I pray that you will influence them. You will lead them, guide them, direct them by your spirit. And God, if they don't listen, Father, I thank you that you will remove them. In Jesus' mighty name, we release the power, the glory, the authority of God over each and every one. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to just encourage you. Let's keep going. All right, I also want to just say that next month we are going to Kimberley. All right, and so please get ready with that. If you're anywhere close to Kimberley, we are going to be in your area next month. All right, I'm just getting the final um, venue, um, uh, what's the word, address. All right, so that I have the address on it, and we will have it so that you can book. So by tomorrow, you should be able to book your spot if you want to come and meet us in the Kimberley area. So we're coming for impartation and fellowship groups. So please get ready. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a wonderful time. So please come and join us in the Kimberley area. Amen. All right. Let's uh, do our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, uh, increased assets, Great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to remind you, go out, release the power of God, be a blessing wherever you go, in Jesus' mighty name. And remember that you are the light, wherever you go, things change. In Jesus' name. So God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock on the School of Prayer. And then tomorrow morning, I'm right back with communion. I just want to make this last statement. All right, it's a public holiday tomorrow. We are not going to have a digital feed. But we are asking you to reach out to somebody. In the public holiday, reach out to somebody and be a blessing. In Jesus' name. So God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. And I'll come and speak to you shortly. Amen.